bottom to the top hoops what we like to do is we like to basically put you on to what's going on creating highlight reels what we are setting the platform up for kids that are not on the radar where we can give them a look and get them a look all right and log on to that bottom to the top hoops.com the program now you understand something see all that's my home yeah that's yeah. my baby i went there yeah, all my so, so like as a now think about this for a second as an alum I thought it was the worst thing in the world to find Lewis Hall. Mm -hmm. He has success. Like, yeah. he, coach of the year, went to the tournament twice. Yeah. One of the best men you will ever meet in your life. Right. Great man. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, that's weird. You know, yep. so I'm disappointed. But that actually helped us in the long run. Okay. So, you know, the first five years there, once again, it was tough getting dudes. Like, tough, tough, tough. Yeah, because you're battling against all of these New York City like Syracuse is going to get a top New York guy. Yeah, St. Yeah. John's is going to get one. Providence is going to steal one or two. Yeah, so yeah. Villanova and Nova, you know, has been on a run for a minute. Nah, Nova, no, Nova, Nova, anybody giving Nova credit now. They, like you said, it's been a minute that they've been winning. Yeah. And, 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 you know, you know what a Nova kid looks like. Yeah. yeah right? And you yeah. know how Nova's going to play when they come in the building. No question. So now you guys land a recruiting class and. Start out with Kadeem. Yeah. And shout I remember. Shout out to Kadeem Carriage and his brother. <laughs> they believed in us. Okay. They believed shout in us. Shout out me. to Kadeem. Okay. They, they believed in me, and that's how I started. Okay, so that's so how like the you said, you, you need a plug, right? So, 17 guys, right? So, I'm recruiting everybody. Mm hmm. You know, and the Lightning, my people's forever, man. Yeah. No, nah, Shandu, we go together. Those are my people. Dana, those are yeah. my people's. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. They're coming on the show. You know, good. Great people to have on the show. Of and course. not forget, forget basketball, man, just good people. Right. No, let's get back to this. So, Kadeem, mm -hmm. junior year, blowing up. UConn, Cincinnati, everybody. Mm -hmm. Had a little down, a down summer. Mm -hmm. People started to go back a little bit. Take away, you know, all that. We came in. I came in strong. Right. Got in, got him. Now, what people didn't know is, Angel stayed with Kadeem. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jabal. No, Angel went to Redemption. Oh, with my man Kevin. Uh, no, Kevin Simmons. Kevin Simmons. Once again, that's to oh, my playing please. chess. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Kevin, Kevin's from Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. I'm sorry. Brooklyn, dude. But yeah. me and Kevin played together in the ABA. Club. Uh, we lived together. Yo, that's my dude. We lived together. Yo, listen. In Chicago. Listen, you know what the I'm first ever City Legends Invitational that you know that we put together. Yeah. Kev was one of the first people when Angel Delgado was a sophomore to say, E, I'm supporting you. The realest dude, one of the realest dude I know, bro. And, and he was a bucket, too. Oh, yeah, one of the realest dude. We played together in the ABA in Chicago. We actually won the whole thing, me, him, and Eddie Lisma. Three New York cats on the same team in Chicago. I, 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 I know Nothing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but he plugged you. Kev called me, mm -hmm. like, yo, I got this kid you need to look at. Yeah. So I went, seen Angel. Kev brought him up. Nothing to talk about. Brought him up on school on a visit, him and him and his uncle, they loved it. Mm. So from there, you know, the rest of history, I think, you know, we had to play the game a little bit with some people, mm -hmm. you know, to, to get it done. Got it done to so now. Top 50 play in Angel, best big, one of the best big men, mm -hmm. one of the best guards in New York history. Kadeem, mm -hmm. scoring wise, his credentials is out there, check it. Yeah. You know, so now we got those two guys. So now, we fight. We rolling, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So now I pick up the phone. Yeah. I'm Tiny, like, what's good? What's up? <laughs> And T's my man, yeah. T, but yeah. T know how that story went. Yeah, T yeah. know how that story went. It wasn't easy. You know, T gonna make you work. No, because we, we had to fight for it. But the one thing I give Isaiah is, if you know his mother, Erica, mm -hmm. great lady, there's no BS one. Mm. Now, Isaiah wanted to go to St. John's. Mm. Okay. All St. John had to do was say, you starting. They wouldn't tell him that. Well, that's a, you know, shout out to St. John's for not telling them that. Well, here's the thing. They had the kid from uh, Rashi. He's from Philly. Oh, 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 oh! The kid who got in trouble. Rashi yeah, Jordan, yeah. Was it yeah, yeah, yeah. So Six had, three, dynamic athlete. So I they had him. They had you know Denzel Harris, all those guys. Mm -hmm. um, but Zeke oh, wanted. That was that class? Yeah, 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 Zeke wanted to go there. Mm, right. So okay. he's starting. So what we did was get you starting. We pick, we make you the face of the program. There you go. We ain't gotta tell you you starting. You starting. We make you the face of the program. Put you on I ninety five. Face of the program. Right. So you know. His mom, plus, she felt comfortable. Okay. She felt comfortable with me. Mm -hmm. She felt comfortable with the situation. T felt comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then once that happened, now you got those three. Now, Desi was supposed to come the next year. He wasn't supposed to come the same year. He was supposed to go to prep school. Mm. Desi ended up playing very well at the City of Palms against Ben Simmons. Okay. 
T placed a call like, yo, it's getting hot. Yo, listen. And this is what we said. I felt like Desi was the, like, the glue. Bro, I'm telling you, T placed a call like, yo, it's getting hot. School's coming in. Three hours later. Boo -boo. Yo, Sha. Yo, I want Desi to come. You sure Isaiah? Yeah. Alright, he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> All facts. Yeah. Story, a thousand percent the truth. Story. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it you is. You sure? The, the Six, Willard. I'll the Willard later. Six five? Yeah. Athletic? Mm-hmm. Uh, you sure? Top. Gun. Lincoln. Done. Yeah. So that's there. Then we got, you know, Ish was the first one from Brooklyn, I mean from Jersey. Mm -hmm. And that was our class. And then we brought Mike Nessie along late. Right. And then that's that that class actually saved senior hall basketball. Not mm -hmm. just saved our job, saved senior hall basketball because it made us relevant again. And it made us sexy. You mm -hmm. know, all it takes one or two kids to make you sexy. Yeah. You know, yeah. so if I had to say something about to the St. John's coach, which obviously he know what he's doing, he's been there, he's been mm -hmm. at the top forever. All you gotta get is one or two kids that everybody like. Mm hmm And now you sexy. Listen, man, I got one. That's it. I got one for him. And not well, We ain't gonna talk about well, it. He, he need to call you. I'm just saying, man. Right, if it get done, Shaw, just know on the show that that I'm having a meeting tomorrow. Okay. And, and, and some things can move around, but okay. Listen. No story for another day. But, yeah, yeah. But, but what you got one? Alright, well then. I usually do. Alright, no, but listen. At the end of the day, that's what it takes is one. So look, now you become the head man. Yeah. Here at St. Peter's. Um, you know, I've been around the program for a while. I mean, shout out to my man Antoine Orr. My man. That's my brother, man. Yeah, yeah. My, that's my yo. guy. That's my brother, man. Yo. The toughest. The funny thing about Twan, because he's a alum here, mm -hmm. he's so tough on me, man. I love it, though. <laughs> so tough on me. And right. I'm like, Twan, man, like, you guys wasn't that good when you were saying, how you talking to me, listen, bro? Like, listen, listen. That's, I remember that's my Mel, guy, Mel Robinson, a uh, bunch of people. Uh, yeah. Keith Sellers, who has a son who's really good now. Really? Uh, Keith Sellers, um, his son is playing at um, Hudson Catholic. The freshman. You ain't got to tell me. He's big time, man. Yeah. You know what it is? He actually just had surgery, man. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. tumor. Yeah, tumor in his head, man. Freshman. Yeah. So I'm, I'm praying for him right now. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Oh man, yeah, that's yeah. tough. Yeah, shout out. You see, you know, just you know. Yeah, I do that. I definitely do yeah, that. Yeah, keeping his wife. They both on here. Yeah, Felicia. She's a famous. famous. Yeah, I know you got to tell me. They tell me. No, you hear a lot. You know, they're they hear a lot. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Good so, people too. Yeah. So, so with that being said, what is it like when they when you have that interview and they say the job is yours? What, what, what's the first emotion that goes through your head when you become a college head coach? The process with that, though. It ain't just that easy. Like, I turned down a few jobs previous years. Let's, 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 let's talk about the facts, okay? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it got to be the right job with the right people, with, with the right fit. Frank said it, though. Like, once again, it started with that. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to take that job as, you know, it's a dead hole. You know, but it's different because the AD now, once again, plugs. Mm -hmm. The AD worked at Seton Hall. Okay. You no, know, I knew him for eight years. That's okay. Long. He worked there. Yep. Now he's AD now. Trust him, know him for a long time. Know what his vision is. Me and me and his wife went to school together. Yeah, help yeah, yeah, right help build C Hall back together. He was a fundraiser in tandem. I understand. Of course. That's what people understand. The, the fundraisers are the guys that really run the program. Because they get the money. At the end of the day, you can't move without no resources. You know That's what, what they call they call it resources. Absolutely. Resources. Yes. So he's the A D now. He called mm -hmm. me. Funny story. Mm -hmm. It's a funny story I know. So when Coach Dunn left, um, he sent me a text. Are you gonna call me? Because everybody's calling for a job. I didn't call. Mm -hmm. I was interested in the job. Okay. Are you gonna call me? So my text back to him was, "Are you my new boss?" So PG, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna orchestrate this. You don't tell me what to do. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is chess. This no, ain't checkers. No so I thought, okay. you know, and then you know we kind of talked, and uh -huh. I came up here, turned the job down, came back up, you know, talked to a couple of people. It's not a lot of people I trust because mm -hmm. everybody everybody got their own vision of things. Okay. Um, so I talked, you know, and then you know I said, you know what? At the time at Seton Hall, we had just went to three straight NCAA tournaments. Huge. You know, you know, we changed the culture of the program, turned around. It was in good hands. You know, so I'm like, you they know, got Jared Roden. We got we got we got Jay. We got two. We got Jay and Ant. Yeah. Oh. And that was an Lightning. Ant. Yeah. That's what, like my people, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got a lot of guys from Lightning, man. Right, right, right. You know, I appreciate right. those guys. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They helped me out because I'm here now. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, I could, the list go on. You know, right, Dean, right. Angel, Vera, Jared, and you know. Yeah. You know, I mean, we keep, we can keep, keep going. We gotta keep, I can keep this going, but. Right, right, right. We can make a lot of So no. <laughs> so anyway, you get the call. You t so you take it. 
No, not at first. Okay. I turned it down. Uh -huh. Came up here for an interview, turned it down again. Then you know what I said back? I said, listen, you know, everybody coming to the game for different reasons. Mm -hmm. I knew I wanted to be a head coach. Mm -hmm. I knew I was ready. Yeah. But I just, the timing was right. Okay. The situation had to be right. Okay. Now listen, I didn't, I didn't have to move. That was important. Family. You know, I got a six-year-old son. Mm -hmm. That was important. Uh -huh. You know, uh, my wife was comfortable with it. Okay. You know, um, somebody I knew that was, that was the head man in charge here. Mm -hmm. So the pieces started to make sense a little bit. Okay. So then I understand to myself, can I get players there? Well, because, you're going back to the Iona situation. We're going, but, we're but, going. You know, but Iona was a little different, you know why? Because Iona history was huge. Steve Burton, senior, junior. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was, they always won. Yeah, they had a history of winning. St. Peter's. Haven't won in a while. So, Iona in the MAC, when you, when you think of the MAC, you think of Iona. Always. In Manhattan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Iona from back in the days, Manhattan, Stevie did a great job. Yep. Bobby did a great job. Yep. Those, yep. But you think of those two teams. Yep. So I said, you know what? Can I recruit here? Like, I gotta, I gotta be realistic. Mm -hmm. And my thing, where I, where I live my life is who I am and where I'm at. Okay. That's important to me. So I go, okay, who I am? I know I could go out there and recruit, but when I'm at, it's going to be tough. Who I am and where I'm, where I'm at. Coaches, you got to know who you are and you got to know where you're at. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I had to use a couple of favors early. You know what I mean? Yeah, I had to use a couple of favors early. Sometimes yeah. you, sometimes, cash sometimes you want to wait, use a favors two, year two, three, four. Mm -hmm. I had to use them early. Okay. You know, and I got the job in April and I was very fortunate to get some guys I got late. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the first calls I did, shout out to my dude. Mm -hmm. Tiny Morton. Okay. Yeah, so I called him, listen, they had Casey, Clay, two mm -hmm. guys from Lincoln. What's good? You know, Clay from Queens, Casey from Long, Long Island, Lightning guy, Casey. Mm-hmm. Got on phone with Shane, got on phone with Dana. What's up? Good. Nah, nah, nah. Now, Casey was supposed to go to um, St. Louis with Van. Mm, so that's... Yeah, that's, you know, that was a... Man, forget the layup. Like, that was... Yeah, they, they, they threw that. And I caught that joint. Yeah, you know yeah. Saying? I went and watched him last year. He played the EYBL, Peace Jam. Did work. I was scared because now you playing out there. You know, you get one or two good games. It's over. Yes, yeah, right. You know, but you know, I give you know T credit. I get a kid credit. Um, I spent a lot of time with that. We got it done. Right. Okay. You know, then, so you feel a little bit better now about. You no. Know, so now that when you down packs, a favor, but you up a kid. <laughs> went with the same packs. Right. Got the seven foot kid. You know, okay. from my alma mater. You know. Central Florida, South Florida, beat those schools out for him. Mm. Big. My man called me from Philly. Mm -hmm. Kid was leaving Penn State. Now I see a boss it. Snatched that up. Right. So now that's four. You moving. In two weeks. Which is really don't, it don't happen that, especially here. Speaks to the person though. You know, but Who once you again, are. that's what you're saying. That's what you got to catch the favors in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So then, you know, kind of phone with Rose, when to see um, Dallas Watson. When to see Dallas, also went to St. Raymond's. You know, Coach Lopez did, kicked it, we talked. You know, we had to make sense for both of us. Talk to the kid, make sure his head was straight. Got Dallas. Now once, now once again, these, these are top name guys that everybody projected to be at higher schools. Right. You know, for whatever reason, it didn't happen. But for me, it was good for me. Yes. You know, but once Ain't again. Ain't good for them. We, but that's when it goes of who you are and where you are. Right, so I didn't sell St. Peter's because I couldn't. I had to sell me to those kids. And because everything that I did, and the people that I made, you know, you're speaking truth connections tonight. with, people like, you know what? You know, Shaq, if there's a guy that could coach those guys, Shaq could coach you. You got to go there with Shaq. So, so I'm going to tell you something that you probably don't know. You were recruiting Jared, and you guys came in to, to, um, to I'll say the Lutheran. The dungeon, I love it. That's what I call it, the gym, I love it. So, uh, I spoke to Coach Pete. My He's, dude. He said, Great dude. he said, E, man. Shaw came in here and laid it down. It's going to be hard to, for somebody to follow up on that. Now, I'm real cool with the coach at Oregon State. So I had put him in pocket Oregon State. But they kind of, you know, mm -hmm. they were late on the ball. Yeah. So you guys were in real competition. But I real knew, based on that conversation, that it was done. For Pete. Now, you know, Jared's got a great family. Tremendous family. And, and again, I, I want to emphasize this. I had nothing to do with it. I was just helping the situation for because I'm here to help kids. No question. But just speaking to the point of who you are, that was proof positive because he gave me the phone call like, 
Like he was excited. Like he was the one being recruited. Mm -hmm. He's a good dude, man. Great dude. He's a good dude. And it's funny you say that because, you know, when you you walk in the gym, mm -hmm. right? I see Pete, I see Charles, mm -hmm. and we start kicking it. And it's, it's real. It's no phonies, no BS, no none of that. You go into you OSL. Know, that's what I'm saying. It's real. You know, it's, it's no. And it's different. Like, it's no. You know, and now, mind you, Jerry had school. Like, Penn State, his whole family went there. Yeah. So to beat that out it was tough. I mean, his whole. His sisters, mother, father, Penn State, grads. Yeah. So they didn't have he. Ricardo did a good job. Ricardo Greer did a good job. Mm -hmm. you know? Dayton. Dayton did a great job. He came in, did a great job. Like, so it was people that we was fighting against that did a great job. St. Louis came in. They, and I think it was the right fit for him. You know what? And you know what? The good thing about Jared that I like when I follow him around? His energy, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, if you ain't got good energy, I can't mess with you. Mm -hmm. I seen an upside of that kid, like, yo, we can take it. Now, mind you. When I go recruit kids, I don't look at them for now. Never, ever do. Mm -hmm. Never look at kids and say, okay, right now, two years from now, what could he be? Mm -hmm. And I see his upside was, was major. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to have a great year, great year. And, and to be honest with you, just the last point on that, if you saw him his junior year at OSL and then saw him his senior year, he was two totally mm -hmm. different players. Nine day. Nine day. They did, man, you guys did wonders from over there. You kidding me? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did wonders from over there, man. You know, it was, and, and, you no, know, shout out to those those guys, Pete and Charles for for, for, for doing that. And and my guy was over there. And my guy put me in with, with Dallas too. I can't forget him. My guy, Anthony Durant. That's my dude. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. dude, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And then so, you know, all that so, It helps. But you know where there's relationships and, help. And that's what it comes down to. And that's what I'm telling you. Like, I'm not for the first couple of years here, I gotta sell me. And so you build it. Until I build it, the then I can start selling the program. I'm selling me. What I did, who I am, what I could do for you. The thing is that it's more than basketball. So when I make the NBA, you sit back and you go, okay, well, now what? Now what? I want to help kids. That's mm -hmm. why I got in culture. culture. We're going to do two more things. Yep. First, the next thing we have to do is we got to teach. So in teaching, what I just want to share is there is a, a platform in New York City that we always talk about and the, the, the way the city's game is perceived and how it is across the country. Give me your best insight for, for where it is, maybe where it good, went wrong, and, and how do we get it back? And you got so big. It's huge. And because it got so big, a lot of different people started getting to New York and getting the kids head that wasn't around when we was growing up. Mm -hmm. Right? So I said to say this. Now you got people telling kids you got to get out of the way. You got to get out of New York. Mm -hmm. You know, they come back. But what they don't understand is, like, you start off here. Mm -hmm. You know, and people might say, "Shock!" Can you say that you left New York? Mm -hmm. you no, know? yeah, but my situation was different than a lot of people. And it's not, and no, it's and not I, for every kid to say it. And I didn't leave New York because you necessarily a basketball noticed. thing. The family felt that way. Once again, I wouldn't be sitting here right now, and that's just a fact. Right. Anyone who know me from my neighborhood know that. Right. Um, some kids might be the same way who, who leave New York or left right. New York because of that. And it's all situational. You know so, but with that being said, it's it's a lot of people involved with the game right now, especially New York game that. I don't, I don't identify with. Like I don't identify with, you know, the way people move right, right, right now. And I got love for a lot of dudes. Like Munch is my dude. Mm -hmm. Love for Munch. Got love for Dana. Right. You no, know, the range. I got love. For, I got love for everybody. Mm -hmm. But when we when we growing up, it was Versailles, Gauchos, you know, Madison, mm -hmm. and Amar. Mm -hmm. Like those were the four. Yep. You know, and then the top top guys, Versailles, Gaucho. The middle guys, Amar. The low little guys, but not low guys. Play with the Broncos, Madison Broncos. Mm -hmm. But everybody played, and on your team, you had six, seven, eight guys going to Division One. Maybe more. Now, right now, you got one or two guys, and then anybody got a program. So this guy got a program, I got a program, I got a program. So if I got a top player, I'm going to one of these sneaker companies like, listen, I got a top player. You got to give me a deal. Y yeah. Or I'm starting, to, I'm starting my AU program up. But it's not, like I'm not playing against the, the, the top ones every time. Like so sneaker companies, Nike, Adidas, Under Armour. So you got all these kids playing on different sites, but they're not playing against the best. Like, I, you're not playing against each other, like... I ain't sharp as I am. Like, once again, go back to what I said earlier. That's why I played up. I didn't play my age group. So kids, coaches, competition... It's very important. Being honest with yourself about where you are and where you could be, right? Would you say who you are and where you're at? Yes, sir. Who are you? And where you at? Facts. Now, 
last thing we got to do on the show. Yep. Got to have some fun. Yes, sir. Right? So, um, I was fortunate enough to play with you, mm -hmm. East Orange Pro-Am, right? And I believe the game we were playing was playing against Booger. So, I've, I've seen a bunch, but your best basketball moment, what was that? Man. It's a lot of them. That's tough, E. Uh, that's tough. I'm, that's, hey, this is a tough game, bro. That's tough. Um, <laughs> NCAA tournament, McDonald's game MVP. I think my best basketball moment at ISA. Wow. And now, and now, big you know, shout out to Pete Edwards. I live right around the corner from that spot I grew up. Okay, so talk about the moment. So, uh, in Queens at the time, there's Rafe Austin, there's Shining Holloway. You know, Skip's supposed to be on the show too. Then, so now you gotta understand, me and Skip grew up playing with each other. CYO, St. Okay. Pats, all the same, St. St. Pascal, St. Catharines. Like, mm -hmm. grew up playing, just playing with each other. People from his neck of the hood, from my neck of the hood, kind of try to separate us. Oh. You know, so now I'm playing with Billy Melly. Okay. JYO. And I don't know who Skip was playing with at the time. So, um, we playing. Mm hmm. This is, this is our, you against Skip and I said, I let's said. set the stage. Shaheen Holloway against my man Skip. I say, how old are you guys? No, we, I think we was even eighth grade and ninth grade. So okay, okay, at that time, cool. 14, 13, yep. 14. Okay. And you know, now, now, now mind you, I say is, I love what they built now. Mm -hmm. You know, Pete and Hassan, the guy, they took it to a different mm -hmm. level. You know, Hassan's a great dude too. That's mm -hmm. my guy. Um, so now it's, it wasn't everybody like now it is. You just Queens, Brooklyn. The hood. It's, it's packed. It's packed. And, but but you know, the local people know, and, oh, I'm going to see shy against. I mean, uh, if you couldn't get in. You know, that's what, what it was. Couldn't get in. I ain't making so, it to that game. But. So, like, so, so me and Skip, you know, we're going at it. And once again, that's my family. Right. But people made us enemies. And now, you know, if you're any type of basketball player, you're in that court. Like, it don't matter. I'm going at you, bro. Like, yeah. You know, so we... Going back, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forth. He doing you know, him, and, and, doing and, and this is all. This is way before the skit. The skit to my low stuff. This is this is Ray Austin, Austin, one of the best basketball players I seen growing up. Like he was Magician. so he was so ahead of us. It was unbelievable. The here though. Yeah, like it was just you know. Yeah. Just, so we going back and forth. We going mm -hmm. back and forth. Mm -hmm. And crazy thing is, the coaches from St. Pat's is in the stands. They came to watch me play that game. Okay. So that's what kind of silly deal for them. Okay. They had to have you after you. So. I probably want to skip too. So I don't know. Skip was Skip was already going to. Okay. Because he went to ISA. So okay. you know, anybody with the ISA was going to Cardoza with. No. Oh, gotcha. Yep. Yep. Gotcha. Um, and to make a long story short, I think we probably ended up both having like 40 apiece or somewhere around there. And at the end of the game. Who won? Come on. Man. Ah! Come on. Okay. Good. 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 So at the end of the game end up being a thing where that moment changed both of us. Cause it went from we went from being very cool to not speaking to back family again. Wow. So when you act to the moment, that moment was big because basketball brought us back. So mm, the moment came big because, story, it, because it, was, it was it was basketball. Yeah. And from this until this day, that's my brother. Forever. Right, right. You know what I mean? And and that's one of the the stories that, you know, no one really knows unless you was at that game in Queens. And you remember, well, you know now. But, but you remember because we were so close, then we wasn't. Mm. Then we came back close again because of that game. Best teammate? Best teammate. Well, be better question, favorite teammate? Lavelle Sanders. Okay, that was a quick one. Yeah, because I, he's one of the reasons why I went to see him all. Okay, okay. Best kid you've ever coached? Now this is all around. This ain't just basketball. This you use when you say best kid, you mean everything in one. Yeah. Tough one. Very tough. I got three. I don't know if that's fair. Go ahead. I can't, Go ahead. I can't we, just we're breaking say the rule. We're breaking the rule. I can't just say one. I, go, I can't listen, just say one. Listen, we can't, can't school. I can't. You know what I mean? You know, I got, you know, Isaiah. Okay. Kadeem and Miles Powell. Okay. And the reason why, none of those guys really had big brother father figures, and mm -hmm. I took that role, and now, to this day, it's the same thing. It's nothing changed. So when, when you see those guys succeeding, you see Miles I'm, cooking this year. Forget basketball with Miles. I'm proud of Miles. When, we, when, I, when I first got Miles, you realize Miles was 250. Mm. 
No, we got him. Cooking the shit. No, we, Miles was 250. Think about that. Yeah, South Kent. 250 pounds. Yeah. No. Um, so that six foot, what, three? No, this is before he went to South Kent. This is when he was at Trent Cafe. Okay. So, yeah, so me, me, me and Miles story go way back. Okay. You know, and but then the transformation of him, like when I watch him do interviews, when I watch him talk, he was shy, he couldn't do none of that. Mm. So you now, have to develop a man. That's what I'm saying. So that's why I say it's three of them because it's, forget basketball wise. Like, I watch Miles right now, and I watch him give interviews. I watch him be a leader on that team. It's like he knapsack. Like too. that's like, like he, that's my little brother. Like that's yeah. Like like I'm proud. Forget basketball. Like he could, Miles could play. I always knew he could play. That's mm -hmm. why I took a chance on him. Mm -hmm. What I see him right now as a person is what I'm proud of. Yeah, it is. I see Isaiah as a person. You remember Isaiah? Isaiah was quiet. You wouldn't say a word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you have a conversation with Isaiah right now. Very articulate, he'd speak, he'd talk. Right, right, Same thing right. with Kadeen. So those three guys, and it ain't just basketball. People say, well, you, you, you like those guys in basketball. It got nothing to do with basketball. Right. It got something to do with them being the person they were when I first got them to now. Right. Well, more than anything, man, we want to say thank you. And, you know, the, the, the part of it that, that I can appreciate is the authenticity. You speak from the heart. Obviously, you got a passion for the game. You've had success as a player and as a coach, and I know that you're going to, turn this St. Peter's thing around and anything that we can do to help out, you know I'm here. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. My brother. All right. This is Shining Holloway. You watch it from the bottom to the top hoops. Stay tuned.